Hi, Booktube. <laughs> Time to make a video. It is uh, Sunday here in West Michigan. It is January the 8th, 2017. It is 10, 12 in the morning. I'm sitting here writing in my January 2017 di diary. I'm on page 19 this morning in my January 2017 diary. It always amazes me that I've been keeping a diary for, well, almost, almost I'd say since I was 17, 18 years old, 47 years. Something like that. I've been a Christian 47 years. 48 years I've been writing every day. Well, I don't know if I did when I was younger. I know that I've been writing consistently every day for at least 39 years, 38 years. A lot of writing, but like I said in my last video, I'm a writer. I'm not a professional writer. I'm not a published writer. I don't go around telling people I'm a writer, but when I put on my tax form, when we file income tax, what is your husband's occupation? A writer. Uh, I never really had an occupation. Now, those who watch my video know that I studied. I went to I went to Bible college, studied Christian missions, Christian education, and I went to uh, Reformed Theological Seminary in Jackson, Mississippi. I went to Reform Bible College here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I studied to be a Presbyterian Evangelical Gospel preacher. I studied systematic theology, church history, New and Old Testament. I have a bachelor, I have a bachelor's a degree in Christian education, missions in Christian education, and I have a master's in divinity or theology and church history but I never was ordained into the gospel ministry, so I never really had an occupation. Uh, I've always just been a writer. and I've worked all kinds of jobs, uh, mostly um, part-time jobs. I did work full-time up in 2017 on unloading farm trucks. Uh, trucks that were uh, unloading eggs at an egg processing plant. I did that for a number of years until I left the work world. And now, since the last 10, 11 years since I've not worked, I read books and I write and I'm married and have children and grandchildren. And I do live a kind of a a recluse life. My life revolves around living in this house, uh, being with my wife and our little dog Rudy, uh, seeing our children and our grandchildren. Once our oldest child, Caleb, lives near us, so and they're coming over this afternoon for for pea soup and pig in the blankets, and we will see their little daughter, Josephine Joy, which is the joy to her grandpa and grandma. But as far as what I've been reading, uh, like I said, I'm still kind of clogged mentally. Uh, I know I go through these, uh, my brain gets stuffed and I can't get any more in there. So I kind of, I still read every day. I just read slowly and reflectively and uh, I write in my diary and I write in my online diaries, Crooked Fingers, uh, Glory Cloud, and the cloud of unknowing and another one but in the mornings if i read anything christian i've been reading the money cult capitalism christianity and making of the american dream by chris lehman uh this is really a good book it's i really have been uh enjoying it i'm glad i got it back out of the lower level hopefully i'll keep reading it it's really a good book every Christian and non-Christian should read it. Uh, I did start reading uh, Nell Zink's new novel, Nicotine, the other night. Uh, so I started reading that. And I 
also reading Neil Zink's Private Novelist Fiction. And uh, the other night, I was reading The Art of Rivalry, Four Friendships, Betrayals, and Breakthroughs in Modern Art. It talks about here in this book the, the rivalries between Matisse and Picasso, Manet and Degas, Pollock and de Kooning, and Freud and Bacon. Now the first part of the book opens up with the rivalry, the friendship, and then it, it's disintegrated later on between Lucine Freud and Francis Bacon. Now when I was reading this, I found out why well, I remembered that Lucine uh, Freud was married for a while to a woman named Caroline Blackwood. And uh, they were married and they got divorced. Well, C Caroline Blackwood later on in her life married the poet Robert Lowell. And I found last year in a, in a thrift store, I found this biography on Caroline Blackwood, The Dangerous Muse, The Life of Lady Caroline Blackwood by Nancy Sch Schoenberger. So I was reading the chapter in here on her relationship when Caroline met Luci Lucien. So I was reading that a lot. That's why I like about having all kinds of biographies. You, you read something and you get some more information in another book. Usually when I read a biography of somebody, I try to have at least two that I'm reading at the same time uh, because they go from different, different angles and they present different information or they give more information or more insights. So I was reading those. And yesterday was a Saturday, and those who watch my video know that I volunteer at the local library used bookstore called the Book Nook. And when I'm there, I get a free book, and that's it can be over two dollars. And then I pick up used books for my book for volunteering yesterday. I pick up the History of the Vikings by Gwen Jones. I picked this up yesterday for my free book. Um, supposed to be an authoritative account on the Vikings. And then I bought for a dollar a Charles Dickens novel, the, Our Mutual Friend. And I picked up this, The Third Rank, by Roberto Bellino, which was translated, uh, he was a, uh, what it says here, he, Roberto Bellino was born in Santiago, Santiago Chile in 1933. He grew up in Chile in Mexico City where he was a founder of the in Infarrealist Poetry Movement. He is the author of Savage Detectives which received the, some prize and goes on in here. Anyway, I had this already but my copy was a ex-library copy from Portage, Michigan. This is a brand new copy it ha it's not a library withdrawal. So I have two account the one I have down in the lower level, I'll return, will give to the book nook. But this is the third rank by, right, rank by a Roberto Bellino, translated from the Spanish by Natasha Wimmer. I collect uh, Roberto Bellino's lit uh, writings. And I checked out a book I had on reserve at the library yesterday. The, uh, I just finished reading Diana, Diana Spano, Spota, Spatota, I can't pronounce her name, Stone Arabia. This is her new novel, Innocence and Others. Like I said, my brain's kind of stuffed, so I don't know if I'll get into this. I put this on hold several weeks ago and it finally came in and now my brain's kind of a, kind of like, I don't know, I get those times when I just can't read anymore, where I can't, I have to read kind of slowly, or I don't, I try to just read, like I said, I'm just reading, I read a little bit of this, and I read a little bit of this, and then I read a little bit of this, and then I read a little bit of this, 
and throughout the day, you know, I, I watch the birds, I, I write in my, in my diary, I listen to some death metal, and I doze, and before you know it, the day is over, another day starts. But uh, this morning, I've been trying to read a little bit of the money cult, and uh, yeah, so that's what's going on here in, on a Sunday. It's a new week. Uh, I should be getting some books in the mail this week. Uh, when I was at the book nook, I came across a bunch of books that I that had not been priced yet. And so I put a note on them saying I want to buy them and I'll probably show those sometime this week once I find out how much they're going to cost me. And so yeah, the weather is kind of bad so I don't like traveling in snow, rain, fog. So I don't know if I'll get to thrift stores this week. Maybe one's around where I live. But hey, there's plenty to read. I got Nicotine by Neil Zink and The Private Novelist by Neil Zink. And I got the, the Private, The Art of Rivalry by Sebastian Simi. So yeah, I got plenty to read. And I can always pray, I can always just sit in silence, contemplative silence, direct my heart and my affections up into the, the Lord who sits upon the throne of glory. So yeah, so I do hope you have a good reading week. Thank you for the new subscribers. Feel free to ask me questions, comments, tell me what you're reading, what you would like to read, anything about your life. And until next time, bye.